Um, there are certain Muslim communities, and in particular there's one called the Tawheed Jamaat, and this question comes from Mauritius, uh, which believe that um, um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually exists only in the highest heaven, and it's only His attributes which are in operation everywhere, and His Waj, his waj means that. So how can we explain the contrary to them, that Allah is omnipresent? This is true. What you see in the world is manifestation of Allah's attributes. Why do you try to oppose them when they, they, what they are saying is correct? All the entire universe is the manifestation of Allah's attributes. That's all. Um, Hazrat, if I may uh, be permitted, I think there's a, a little point here which, which they, they raise about Jesus Christ, the Islam. And it's that if Allah, his, his being, is on one, in a fixed place in the heavens, then there might be movement towards Him. No, there is no fixed place in the heavens. Allah is eternal. Eternal in space and eternal in time. You see, the Holy Quran has made it very clear that Allah is within, also within man. So in that sense, He is the Akhrab. Nothing can be clearer to Him. Even he is closer to man's th brain and his uh, communication with his entire body. He sits in between, that is to say, he detects everything. So there is nothing for, uh, no there is no need for any information to travel. It's there.